The historic order of the medieval Knights Templar has been the inspiration for a multitude of books and films over the years, and more recently, even video games. Sir Walter Scott was in the vanguard of this movement with his 1819 publication Ivanhoe, while more recently best-selling books by Dan Brown of the Da Vinci Code fame and The Last Templar by Raymond Curry have served to publicise the more mythical aspects of the order. Public interest in the Templars past and present shows no signs of diminishing, and so what is the truth about the order? and what is its link with present-day Freemasonry? This short presentation seeks to answer these questions. Our story starts in the early 12th century, shortly after the forces of the First Crusade had recaptured the holy city of Jerusalem. However, the hinterland was not yet secure, and so pilgrims were extremely vulnerable to the Saracens and brigands who preyed upon such easy pickings. An Anglo-Saxon ecclesiastic called Seowulf, who travelled to the Holy Land in 1102, bore witness to the dangers faced by pilgrims in his chronicle, which describes the journey to Jerusalem as being very harsh and dangerous, because the Saracens, always ambushing Christians, lie concealed in the caverns of the mountains and in the caves. In the few short years that followed, the sources reveal very little about what was done to counter this threat, although some historians postulate that the Hospitallers paid landless knights to protect pilgrims. The order was founded in 1118, when a Frankish knight called Hugh de Pean and nine fellow knights sought permission from King Baldwin of Jerusalem to form a religious military order to protect pilgrims visiting Jerusalem and its associated holy site. King Baldwin acceded to their request and allocated the order a portion of the Temple Mount, believed to be the site of King Solomon's Temple, from which the order derived its name as the Poor Fellow Soldiers of Christ and the Temple of Solomon. Hugh de Pen was appointed the order's first Magister Militum Templi, or Grand Master, a position he held until his death in 1136. These warrior monks soon became renowned for their fierce fighting ability and determined dedication to duty. Bernard of Clairvaux immortalized the order by a letter he wrote to Hugh de Payen entitled In Praise of the New Knighthood. The letter swept throughout Christendom and through the agency of the church attracted many men of noble birth to join the new order. While it is true that the Templars were not permitted to own any personal goods, there was no such restriction on the order as a whole. Over the years, the Templars rose from their humble beginnings to become one of the wealthiest of the crusading orders. The order grew in size and influence and played a significant role in the development and defense of Frankish Syria during the crusading period. However, in 1307, Philip IV of France, supported by Pope Clement V, falsely accused the order of heresy and had the Grand Master Jacques de Molay and others arrested and brutally tortured to obtain false confessions. Jacques de Molay and Geoffrey de Charnay, however, recanted their earlier confessions. Philip was enraged and had them burnt to death in Paris in 1314. Legend has it that moments before his death, de Molay told the onlookers that a calamity would soon befall their accusers. Tellingly, Philip IV and Clement V were both dead within a year. The order was dissolved in 1312 and its assets seized and the remaining knights either pensioned off or absorbed into other military orders. The poor fellow soldiers of Christ, who had fought so bravely to safeguard Outremer, were now consigned to history. But were they? Legend has it that a small band of these warrior monks fled France and took ship to Ireland before continuing onward to Scotland, 
where the order, shrouded by the veil of Freemasonry, continued throughout the ages. Be that as it may, modern Masonic Knights Templar activity is first recorded as having occurred at the Portsmouth chapter of Friendship in 1778, where the order was worked as an appendant degree. The Masonic association with the Knights Templar of old is formed by a dramatic and very colourful ceremony that centres upon the arduous nature of pilgrimage, the ritual of knighthood, and various other aspects of the order's martial past. The regalia is authentic and is based upon the Templar's undress uniform of the Middle Ages, and the ritual is spectacular. Moreover, membership facilitates progression to the Order of Malta, which is similarly superb in terms of its representation of the Order's martial past. The province now has 17 preceptories spread throughout the region, and so you may rest assured that there is a preceptory near you. The province is currently commanded by the Provincial Prior, Right Eminent Knight Graham McGowan Smith, most ably supported by his sub-prior, Eminent Knight Dean White. They and all of the knights of the province extend to you a very warm welcome and look forward to the day when you too will join our order.